Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, welcome. So today, or this afternoon, I should say, we're doing our library resources and apps class. Very glad that you're here with me this afternoon. Let me introduce myself a little bit. My name is Alex Cooper. I teach the computer classes for the Columbia County Libraries and uh, also the Harlem Library and the Uchi Creek, now the Grovetown Library, and very glad that you're here with me this afternoon. So we're gonna cover those topics about library resources and apps and things that you can get uh, free through the library to kind of help you while uh, you're staying home, staying safe and everything, and some neat things to do like books and audiobooks and movies and stuff like that. So very glad that you're here with me today. And let's go ahead and let's get started. Uh, feel free to post a uh, message in the video chat. Do you realize you do need to be logged into YouTube to be able to do that? And 
uh, well, you have to be logged into YouTube to be able to um, post in the chat any questions and also subscribe or like our videos as well. So let's talk about some of our classes and I do realize that there is a little bit of delay in posting questions so do realize I do notice that. So if you do post a question I will get to it eventually so if that is something that you're wondering about I will get to the questions it's just a little bit of the delay. Okay. But the big question I always like to ask is how can I help? Okay. So how can I help? Do you have any questions? Have you tried to sign up for some library stuff and then come to find out you weren't able to figure out exactly how to use it or anything? Um, but you know, feel free to ask any questions or anything. And we're going to cover a lot of topics. I will be posting the into the chat uh, the handout so that you can view it later. So let me go ahead and get started. I'll do that now. Okay, so like I said, let's go ahead and let's get started here. So yesterday we did our cord cutting class. That class is still up and available. Talked about some new stuff on there like Pluto TV and of course the new Peacock TV and how you can get a free box from Comcast Xfinity as well to watch some of the streaming services. So that video is still up and available on our YouTube channel, so go to check that out. And this morning we did our chess class, Chess 101. It was really informative. I actually have some new uh, videos to uh, I had to um, share. And uh, I don't know, it's a fun topic. I enjoy chess, playing for it just with fun, friends or family. And also we talked about clocks and getting ready. Usually with that class we have a part one and a part two. And then we actually have a library chess tournament. Of course, we're all at home staying safe with our virtual classes. Um, so there you go right there. Play with friends, family. Or you can also download the chess.com app on your phone. And they have uh, lots of free tournaments and stuff like that online. Uh, this afternoon, we're doing our library resources and apps. We're going to cover a whole bunch of different topics. Now, tomorrow, we're actually going to be doing our YouTube class. YouTube 101, talk about being a creator, also being, um, you know, using YouTube as well. It's kind of like a chicken or the egg, so we kind of learn about both. There is a little bit of a, a um, steep learning curve, not steep learning curve, but a steep way to access to be able to get AdSense from our advertisements. It's 10,000 subscribers, and we'll talk more about that later. And then the, tomorrow afternoon, I'll be doing Raspberry Pi Computing Projects with Alex. It's kind of an open working on different projects. I list the projects I'm working on and also discover those. So this is kind of a way for us to work on separate little things um, and everybody kind of get to enjoy them. I think tomorrow we're going to work on making like a little music player piano um, uh, button um, mix up kind of with four buttons and we'll wire all that with our breadboard. And of course, I'll list everything in the in the class that you'll need to be able to work on our little projects and, st and stuff. So kind of get you started going a little bit beyond our basic you know, introduction to Raspberry Pi. Here's a list of our classes that we have this month. Like I said, we have some new classes. The Raspberry Pi Computing Projects Live with Alex is a new class. Each one of those classes I'll be working on different projects. So come by. We also are updating our Word, Excel, and PowerPoint classes. The latest versions of Office 2019, um, we'll be covering that and also the, 
the, the new features that they have as well and things that have changed. I'll also be able to, if anybody requests it, I'll be able to post a like 2013, let me get that right there, 2013 version of the handout as well. And uh, so that's basically coming up next week. And next week we'll also be doing the Raspberry Pi Projects Live at 11 on uh, Wednesday too. So come join me for that. And we're also doing a photography class near the end of the month as well. We've kind of taken that class and kind of taken two classes and we had more people ask about, they wanted to do more uh, editing, photo editing. So we've actually changed that class added we're going to talk about layers in that class making new compositions it's still beginner as well well advanced photo editing uh, for beginners but we'll talk about that and also pushing our virtual scrapbooking into our photography printing class okay so we'll cover that a little more and then we'll finish up the month by doing creating videos with our pictures and everything so once you've gone through now four classes once you've gone through all those classes, you'll be able to pretty much do anything that you want to with your photos that you've taken, learned about the cameras and everything. So should be a fun class, lots of fun projects, and definitely want to get lots of feedback uh, from that class as well. Just a little side note, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Uh, last week on Wednesday, the hours did change for our libraries. So definitely go, uh, go to gchrl.org for details. Also, curbside holds pickup is available. You can call into library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for updates. And that's this channel here. And also like my videos and other people's videos as well. Search YouTube for GCHRL videos to find our channel. Okay. So let's go back and let's talk about what we're going to cover today. So we're doing our library and resources apps. So let me go ahead and pull that up. Of course, we have the handout now in the chat. And before we get started, any questions? Now, why did this class come about? Well, one of the reasons this class came about was basically uh, the library does actually have iPads that you can check out, okay? It's a limited number of them. Um, you'll have to talk to librarians about checking that out, of course, with our staying home, staying safe situation. But we, we were receiving some of those for the to check out the library. So people were talking about different apps that we could talk about. but also we also didn't weren't talking about a lot of the resources that the library has to offer as well free stuff ebooks everything so that's where this class kind of came about so we're covering all those great topics so let's go ahead and let's talk about what we're going to cover this afternoon okay we'll talk about what you need we'll talk about the pines app okay Putting books on hold, which things are a little bit different right now. Uh, that's kind of similar to putting things on curbside uh, hold pickup. Um, that's mostly going to gchrl.org for more details on that. We're also talking about renewing our books. Uh, so we'll know if there's a late fee, no late fee. And maybe even just talk or call into the library if you have specific questions about late fees. Okay. Uh, also, it'll tell us about when our books are due or our DVDs or anything like that. And if there are any fees involved, again, you may want to call into the library and ask that or even contact us through the Facebook page. Uh, have a digital card number right on hand. Also, we'll talk about, remember we're talking about different um, resources that we have through the library. We'll talk about law resources, RB Digital app. Okay, we'll talk about ebooks. I call them e-audiobooks because if I just say audiobooks, you may think there's just CDs. E-audiobooks, magazines, comics, Acorn TV. We'll also talk about film, film flicks as well. Uh, free video lessons. Maybe now's a good time to learn to play that instrument a little bit. I uh, want some lessons. Maybe something that's more in-depth than just someone posting something on YouTube. So there you go, an actual class. 
Uh, we also have someone doing research and things like Galileo. Galileo for kids, someone needs some homework help. And we also have some new, a new resource, and we'll talk about that too. And we'll also talk about some continuing education classes. Universal classes are really fun, and I'll talk about that. It's a fantastic resource that our library has, and you can get a certificate when you finish that. Also, Mang Mango Language as well. And I'll also talk about little known uh, GCHRL.org resets, race resources that maybe you don't know about, okay? And I'll list a whole bunch of other stuff too. So before we get started, does anybody have any questions? I'll usually pause for questions just a little bit because I do know that there's a little bit of a, a lag and everything. All right, so let's go ahead. Definitely feel free to ask questions at any time. I'm happy to help in any way that I can, okay? That's why I'm here. <laughs> Get ready, and animation is going to happen. <gasps> and I'll disappear too if I'm blocking anything. So let's talk about what we'll need. Well, one of the first things we'll need, of course, is our library card. Okay. I do know that a lot of folks are at home and, can't, of course, staying safe and everything, and we can't do our library card. Just contact the library, a call, or contact us to our Facebook page for questions about library or renewing your library card. I do know that some of the RB Digital stuff will expire after a certain amount of time. Just contact the library and they'll get it taken care of. If you go to GC, gchrl.org, then click Menu, you'll get a whole list of the um, different resources that we have on our page. Our, our gchrl.org is basically our hub. Not only is it information for what we have to offer at the libraries, but it's also um, information on how to get to the other resources as well. Uh, note uh, services may need you to create a username and password with them. I do recommend you create the same username and password that you would basically create with us on our website gchrl.org. Okay, so a big thing is uh, when we click any of our resources to go through that and you'll see I'll pull that up and I'll just kind of walk through there. Um, we have them kind of categorized, but sometimes you may not be really sure which one it is. Just kind of keep browsing around and you'll find our resources uh, listed in there. So uh, one of the things is, let's start talking about our Pines app. So I'll disappear. Bye-bye. So we'll talk about our Pines app a little bit. So if you do have the Pines app, it's a great thing to use. You can access all of this by going to gapines.org, okay? But the Pines app has everything kind of listed. It's easy, it's quick, and it keeps you logged in as well. I will tell you this, one issue I've had with the Pines app is that having to re-put in my, um, my library card number instead of just using my username with the main website, uh, but just realize if one doesn't work, try the other, okay? So one of the things we can do is we can use our library of Pines app to search for books, okay? And let's say we were searching for, let's say, Stephen King. This is just kind of a sample search. The cool thing about this is when we do our search, it comes up with the book, okay? By that author, an e-audio book is listed, so it's telling us what uh, should be available uh, with RB Digital. Okay. It also lists other books, and you see this is just a sample. If I go down to the very, very bottom, it'll actually show CD audiobooks that you can check out from the library as well. Okay. So it kind of makes it an all encompassing search. Uh, do realize you can uh, actually uh, choose books, stuff that's not available at one library, and they'll actually move it from another library, and you can. You can pick it up from a different library. That's not a problem that are still available in our system, okay? So you can search more than one library at a time. As long as it's in our system, they'll move them back and forth and bring them to you. 
and then you can come get them in the library okay a big thing here is to know what books and items you have checked out already you can click here where it says items checked out it'll talk about if there's any fines available we are having different uh, um, I just say some of the fines if there's some issues where the library is closed or something just contact the librarians and ask them what the situation is is and they'll be happy to explain in any way so the, there's uh, the fines on there it also tells you what books you have checked out if you of course been uh, like myself you take a, a bunch of folks to the library <laughs> little folks big folks uh, take them to the library and then they check out stuff and maybe even you're not really sure what all they checked out this is a great idea where it says items checked out it'll tell you exactly what items you have checked out so you remember what to take back okay also a great thing is that we can actually have access to our library card okay so not only can we show our card know what our fines are know what books we have on hold to come pick up or you have to go to gchrl.org for the the curbside holds pickup settings or just call in the library contact the library I don't want to say that too many times but I do want to know that that people are there to help okay and they're happy to do it it's a great service and definitely thank the librarians for doing that it's a wonderful service the curbside holds pickup okay you put your book on hold you drive up let them know you're there and come out and bring the books to you to your car um, you could even do a touch list where um, you open your trunk and they'll set it in their trunk too I've done that personally it's a great service uh, having to be able to show your card right there hopefully if you were able to get a whole kit then you have some a uh, robbery card that hooks on your keys of course but this is just a little bit of an extra thing in case you didn't have your library card okay so let's talk about some legal resources now some of the things we're going to talk about and it will talk about them again uh, later basically you're at our main website you find you go to gchr gchrl.org find the resource click the resource it takes you to that website instead of going directly and then that allows you to set up a username and password with them if it's required or it'll let you write on in and but you just have to access it through our gchrl.org website okay it's a little bit of code that comes from our website and goes there and tells us um, what we need to do okay or tell them, tells them about you I think that's a good way to say it so there's legal forms that are available I've uh, getting ready for this you know to talk about our sources I've asked the librarians what are the most you know wanted uh, their sources like last will and testament uh, do you realize uh, the living will bill of sale and child medical consent forms that needed to be filled out uh, the last will and testament and living will last will and testament is who gets your stuff living will is what do you want to happen in case you're incapacitated and can't make medical decisions okay so that's a great resource for that now I do know that some of our um, notary the, the scheduled library is different so uh, you may have to call in and ask for a notary a scheduled time or just call in and ask about that but our libraries do have notaries uh, Evans and Grovetown do uh, basically but do realize that uh, banks if you have a, a local bank here probably you know most of them are national banks at this point if you have a bank here usually there's a notary as well but technically you could get something a bill of sale last will and testament or something printed up have it even printed the library have a notary notarize it for you and then you're all ready to go on just one stop okay And these are kind of forms you fill out and it kind of gets it ready and set up for you and you can be very specific about you know who gets your stuff <laughs> and 
Galileo is a great resource. Galileo may require a password. Um, basically, just contact the library, call into the library, and they'll be able to give you what the password is. It's something that changes every once in a while. So what's Galileo? Galileo is more than just doing a Google search. It allows access to over 10, um, o over 100 uh, database index, thousands of periodicals, scholarly journals, someone working on a paper, they're working on a degree, they're working on something from sc for school. Um, definitely not something that you could uh, just use Wikipedia for. <laughs> so that's a great resource. Also the great resource is, whoop, also, the great resource is our Galileo um, website here. Let me see if I can pull that up real quick. <laughs> nope, hang on. Of course, I clicked the wrong thing now, didn't I? Here we go. Okay, so... So this is our Galileo. Um, you type in, you can connect up, talk about uh, K-12 in there. It'll talk about, you can connect up with that. And it also has some homework help on there as well. But the really interesting part is that it's specific towards um, the different age groups or what you're looking for. It's college or university right there. So let's talk about some pitfalls of our resources, okay? Many library services need to be set up with username and password, just like I talked about. Uh, try to keep the same password, same one as you remember last time, or at least if you sign up and they ask for an email address, definitely use the same email address in case you need to do a forgot my password situation. Now, usually, this thing, I know things have changed, but usually uh, holds are done what they've been said in the morning. But again, the car, her, car side holds pickup. You need to contact the librarian through gchrl.org for more details, and I'll show that a little bit where you go to do that. Now, our other resources, like I said, go to gchrl.org. Don't just type in the address to go there directly because um, you may not get access to that because it may of course be behind a paywall and through our library it'll send a little bit of uh, code to be able to get you in okay some services example ebooks may be limited to certain numbers of checkouts again just try again soon if you go on there there's ebook audiobook uh, you're trying to get a subscription a weekly subscription to the acorn tv just realize that you could go in there and maybe it's not available right now try again later this afternoon maybe try again tomorrow maybe try again in a week uh, so and some of the books you can actually put on a, like a, a waiting list so that you'll be alerted when that books available So let's go ahead and let's start talking about our RB Digital. So if we, I'm going to pull it up here so we can kind of walk through it too. The best thing to do is that this is really is great with the app. Okay, so here's our GCHRL. I'm going to pretend I'm a first time user. GCHRL.org is our library system. Make sure that you are logged in. Here it says account, and I'm going to log in real quick.
So now when I go to the site and I click here, it'll actually come up and I say that and I can see that I'm logged in. Do you see that? It doesn't say log in anymore. I can actually click my profile as well. So we want to go ahead and do, oh, hang on. Jane not doing Facebook right now, but we may do some of those um, like a, a double class or just a single class on Facebook Live. So not now, but maybe in the future. Okay, so if I go here and I actually click, uh, give me a second, because I've got to remember this stuff too. Isn't that funny? All right, so if we're at our GCHRL website, website, it'll pop up. Here's where we go, and it talks about curbside holds pickup. Click here for more information. When they do it, and basically the phone number is to call as well. And you basically fill out the form. I do know I've been asked that any kind of holds, just make sure that you leave a, uh, a, a number that's really easiest to contact you on in case the librarians need to contact you for any reason. So if we scroll down here, we actually have a big view of our page. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here just so it's full screen. I know not everybody may be viewing this on a computer and it may be kind of small on a um, like a little device or something or a cell phone. So here's talking about some of our classes that we have going on, virtual story time. This is our class we're taking right now. How about that? Play, uh, play craft, um, uh, virtual cafe, excuse me, play craft. And then the classes tomorrow so the links are on there too. You can click to go there. And information about our library being closed. Libraries will be closed on Labor Day uh, 5 to 7. The 5th to the 7th. Here's applying for a library card on there. And here's about RB Digital. Okay. Here's information about Acorn TV, which we're about to cover. And there's always adding something new. This is one of our newest things, and I'll briefly talk about that, the Brain Fuse, and of course, um, Ancestry, accessing Ancestry.com as well. And it talks about some of our newer books that are coming out that can be checked out. So I'm gonna go all the way back up to the top. I'm gonna click Menu. And we want to go to our, let's say, under resources, yeah, resources, digital library, it'll say books, and here's RB Digital Books. And all these will actually take you to the same RB Digital place. And I think it'll log me in, so I might have to type my password in here in just a second. So I click sign in. sign in there we go I'm signed in and now I can look at everything on here now like I said you can actually see this all with the RB digital app this makes it very convenient uh, one of the things is you don't have to have a super expensive iPad or anything like that if you just have a smartphone or like an iPhone or even a smaller device I do know that the, the holidays are starting to come up here and usually Amazon and some of the other places put those on on sale the Amazon Fire uh, tablet uh, you can we'll do RB digital and all that as well and usually some usually you can get a good price is you know even as cheap as forty dollars for like a seven inch tablet it's a great device for um, friend or family member as a present 
and the good thing about it, it, it does do other apps like Netflix and Pluto TV and stuff like that. So, hint, hint, uh, maybe a good uh, Christmas gift or holiday gift. <coughs> Excuse me. So, let's talk about our different categories. First, we have our ebooks on here. We have our e audiobooks, just kind of distinguish that. I put the e on there, they just call them audiobooks. We have our comics and we have our magazines that we can check out as well. So let's go back to our page here. So here's our audiobooks and you can kind of scroll through those. This is kind of the hot topic everybody's really interested in is want to really get into, you know, what what audiobooks can I get from the library? And again, there is only a limited number of audiobooks that can be checked out at a time for that, you know, like a copy. Um, but do you realize you can add it to your your waiting list and then it'll give you an alert when you want to check it out later or it's available later and uh, you can get it then okay so lots and lots and lots of books or just try again later to try to, to check the book out virtual book out we have our magazines on here lots of interesting magazines going on here's about birding connects up with our birding class cooking outdoor projects all kinds of stuff canoeing lifestyle country living photography all kinds of stuff uh, these are most of the time just click and you're you're viewing the the one that you want to view I get a big question about does this have Consumer Reports on it. No, Consumer Reports isn't in here. There's another way to get to um, the Consumer Reports magazines, and I want to tell you that uh, later because that's a big one that I get asked. Guitar magazines, puzzles, Forbes, lifestyle stuff. Here's our ebooks down here. Okay. Anything that you're interested, just click it. And the audiobooks, it, it has a separate little thing that'll pop up and you can start listening to it immediately. Here's our comics, lots of Spider-Man stuff on here. Captain Marvel. I'm sure Black Panther is on here somewhere as well. Marvel, Disney stuff. Here's Disney stuff. Star Wars, Incredibles, Cars, Alice in Wonderland, all kinds of neat stuff. So it's more than just comics and also just, you know, kind of connect it up with their properties. Here's Mulan. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Action novel. So a lot of neat ones on there. So basically, you want to hear an audiobook. Here's a John Grisham. Click it. Not available right now, but I can add it to my wish list, and it'll give me a um, the ability to listen to it and play it later. And like I said, there's the App Store is on iPhone, Google Play, Android devices, and it's a Kindle Fire um, works on Kindle Fire as well. Okay, so the big question about these, as I get asked a lot, is are there any late fees going on with any of these e-devices e or e-books or anything like that? No, no late fees at all. If it says that you have, you know, 14 days or whatever, you have 14 days. Um, there's, when it's up, it's up. And there's no late fees or anything like that. It just expires. And do realize if it's a hot property, um, you may want to, you know, kind of eagle eye it. And hopefully you can recheck it out if you want to. If not, just realize someone else maybe have checked it out already because if it's a very popular ebook or audio book or something. Just re-add it to your watch list again. And remember, this is all free through our library. And some of the some of our services like ebooks and stuff, they do cost the library to use. So please, all we ask is um, if you're using some of our stuff, please enjoy it, use it, and love it. <laughs> How about that?
So if you check an e audiobook out or our audiobook, listen to it. Have fun. Enjoy it. It's to it's to your benefit and it's to ours as well. We're here for the community. All right, so we talked about that. This is also where you can access musical instrument artist works. Okay, so let's talk about that. So the interesting thing is this is where you subscribe to Acorn TV, Indie Flicks, and the Quello Concerts as well. So the RB Digital app on your phone does access these other things as, as well. Also there's Artist Works and it's a different way that you can get to the Law Depot website as well. So let's click on the Artist Works so that I can kind of show that. And again, if I went directly to Artist Works, I wouldn't be getting that little code. But going through the website or even the RB Digital, it takes a little code with it and lets the, them know that who I am and everything like that. So this is a great resource. It being Artist Works always kind of sounded like it was going to teach you to paint, but no, it's about music. So here's our guitars banjos, violins, flutes, all kinds of stuff. Even DJ scratching with DJ Qbert. Piano playing, country vo vocals it says. So let's just do a basic one. How about I think piano, where did I see piano? There you go, popular piano lesson. Click here and their video lessons and you'll see that you can click the drop down here and it'll load up all the different videos okay so here's our introduction here I won't play all of it because it's seven minutes long If you've always wanted to learn to play the piano or if you've learned a long time ago and want the best, fastest, most efficient way to get back to playing, congratulations. I believe you're about to start on the best method for learning the piano, I think, on the planet. It's, I know it's a big claim, but I'm bringing 30 years of teaching experience and distilling it into this course, which I am so excited for you to go through. Here's why I think you're going to learn faster, better, and, it, and just with more fun than you could ever imagine. Number one, we're going to be making all of our lessons right out of songs. Rather than taking kind of esoteric exercises or you know, different kinds of you know, parts of music that don't really relate to anything, we're going to learn all of our lessons right from songs that you probably already know and songs that are familiar so that you already have your own ear and hopefully your heart as well into putting the effort in to make sense out of all the things that we talk about. So the songs are the primary goal and the primary method that we draw all of our lessons out of. The next thing that you'll be introduced to, you won't, we won't really notice this in an overt sense, but every fingering that I come up with is a means of helping you learn to let your body work for you. What do I mean by that? Well, playing the piano is very much a system of understanding the geography of the piano as it relates to your physical body. Everything from the placement of your fingers, the shape of your hands, how you stretch things. There are definite patterns that happen over and over again in music throughout almost any kind of music. And from the selections of the songs to the way the notes are so presented, to, even to the number finger Lesson plan that's all set up. So it's more than just like someone said, hey, I just want to watch something on YouTube or whatever. So we have great lesson plans. And here's also talking about our different music that comes with it as well. Okay. So great place to start learning about music. All right, now let's go ahead, since we've talked about those, now let's talk about our TV stuff, okay? 
So you may have heard of Acorn TV. You may have heard about uh, Indie Flicks. Uh, Acorn TV, they do commercials for it. It really is focused on British shows and movies. Uh, and you can, uh, it's interesting because yesterday, and the reason we kind of scheduled this class this way is because I know we're all kind of staying safe, staying home, so maybe we're watching a little more TV than we used to, <laughs> or more TV than we're, you know, um, you know, have in the past at least. Uh, so having different options, different pl different places to get new content, and like I said in the other class, the cord cutting class that we did yesterday, uh, because some of the production companies actually have to shut down, we may feel like we're getting a bit of a dry spell here coming up in the fall for new shows, new movies, and stuff like that. So it's really important so that we do feel like we're watching something new or interesting, you know, while we're staying safe and everything and not going stir crazy or anything, is to maybe uh, try different services, try different outlets, try different movies, try diff different um, shows, things that we had heard in the past, maybe something positive about, or try something new. So Acorn TV is one of those. It'll, it has its own um, kind of ecosystem because it's British shows and movies and the independent flicks is kind of international. And I'll point out the Stingray in just a little bit. Now, the big thing is it's, it's free seven day subscription. Again, you're doing the same thing and you basically sign up through the RB Digital and I've got instructions on how to do that. And then you install the app on your separate little devices and you just log in with your username and password you set up with RB Digital, okay? But you have to activate that subscription as well uh, through the RB Digital. So what exactly does that mean? Well, that means that it's free, uh, free seven day subscription. Now, someone may think, oh, well that means I can only use it for that seven day. No, this is a go back and just resubscribe to it again and you'll have access again, okay? Uh, I'll, the, the library actually pays a little bit of a fee for you to subscribe to some of this stuff. So again, just have fun, enjoy it, and please, if you subscribe to it, use it. That's all we want you to do. <laughs> so definitely you come back and keep subscribing to it, and uh, you know, but just use the services you subscribe to it, okay? So let's talk about what's available on Acorn TV. So here's some of the kind of the popular shows on Acorn TV. Um, shows like Midsummer Murders, uh, Murdoch Mysteries, have a fan member that's gotten really, uh, really likes that show. Uh, Pro Agatha Christie stuff. Um, some other stuff I'm not that familiar with. Agatha Raisin, I believe, is kind of a takeoff on Agatha Christie. They have a few shows that are similar uh, to that as well. But again, you get free access to the library for seven days. Want to see more? Or just resubscribe again. You'll get another free seven days and so on and so forth. So lots of free content on there. Lots of British shows and get something a little bit different. And if they are, if the, if the language may be a little t thick, put on the subtitles and then it'll kind of help out a little bit too and maybe even learn something uh, new, who knows. All right, so we've gone to just bit from Brit just from British TV to indie flicks. So let's talk about some international films. Now, at the beginning, it may seem like indie flicks is just international films and it would have to be someone that's really into that. And again, turn on subtitles and you can watch pretty much anything. Okay, uh, so what we have here, some movies from South Korea, some Russian movies, and I'm not sure about that one, but then you keep looking and then we have some classic movies that show up, like The Magnificent Seven, In the Heat of the Night, The Hustler with Paul Newman, The Third Man, so some just classic uh, movies. So, so not only do they have just independent kind of recent movies but they also have international movies or excuse me classic hits as well and also it has classic TV on it so someone you know Beverly Hillbillies, Bonanza, Dragnet, even the old Robin Hood show so if someone says hey wh who is indie flicks for and I just kinda say for anyone they also have some uh, cartoons on there as well kinda classic cartoons 
um, and you can kind of go through there and you know and see what's available which is kind of fun so if I did go to I think I can do that let me look real quick here Oh, I remember what I did last time. Give me one second. I know off the the website. So here's kind of an overview, and they have a nice little like trailer for their stuff. So all this this all this is available, you know, through the library for free. Just do the subscription, and of course you can watch it on your TV and everything. Let's see. So lots of new shows they're just constantly adding so there's mystery mystery murder shows you've got a friend or family member that's big into that this would be something that they'd probably be interested in too people love mrs fisher you know and kind of so forth so let me go back give me one second here last time i actually taught this class i actually found me one second I actually found a trailer here we go so this is off our website talking about the gateway getting started with uh, acorn TV but the easiest thing to do is use the RB digital to sign up for this talks about all the kind of shows they have and I actually have a trailer that I can show yay so let's do that <laughs> Rule number one, get them laughing. Well, that's basically the holy grail of treasure hunting. Well, no, the holy grail is the holy grail of treasure hunting. Well, you're going to be pedantic. Do you bathe at all? Yes, I do. Well, it's obviously time to step it up. I seem to spend my life searching for patterns. What if there isn't one? done nothing wrong. Why did you just leave? I have come halfway around the world for you. I'm not giving up that easily. Are you interrogating me? Well, of course not. Uh, simply asking the questions that need to be answered in order to find out who killed him and why. you out. Well, you've succeeded where so many ex-wives didn't. Are you and I? It's all over this, Jack. No question, you were next. This is not a game, mon ami. Tell me the truth, and now it is your only chance. Again, and that's free through the library. Lots of great uh, resources that we do have that not everybody knows about, including my classes. <laughs> uh, so tell friends or family members about the kind of stuff that we can access and do that's through our library system. Okay. All right. So uh, I believe I could do the same thing here. Hang on. Give me one second. Yes. This kind of shows a little bit of our indie flicks a little bit information shorts films film festivals 
all kind of information on here. And like I said, we have a little bit of our sample of movies and stuff here. All right, so how do you get the free seven day TV subscription? Basically logging into RB Digital is the easiest way to do it. You can do it on the map, on the app, click menu, entertainment, the service you want. Uh, sometimes with the Acorn TV, it's easier just to click on a movie and hit play and it'll say, hey, do you want to subscribe to the free seven day subscription through the library? And you go, yes and then you're good to go run your app and then you should be able to watch the shows okay okay so let's go ahead and let's talk about let's talk about our continuing education classes this is our universal class and I'm going to pull it up and We'll go into a classroom and check it out a little bit. So there's hundreds of online uh, continuing education classes. Uh, uh, you can earn continuing education. Uh, anyway, you get a certificate after you complete the classes as well. If you do need continuing education credits, those are available and it will list what they are. You can build an online profile and share your, your, your certificates with others as well. And I've got a little bit of a sample here and I'll pull it up and we'll go there. We can learn about uh, coding HTML websites and stuff. 10 hour course, uh, things like uh, if you wanted needed to learn that for a job, then you actually have it. And remember they do do certificates, so you could share that you have learned how to do that. This is an interesting one, I think, general receptionist. So imagine you have your employer, you have two people come in, they have about the same uh, description, they have the same you know, uh, career goals, kind of fit in what you're looking for and basically one of them has had uh, and started and completed a, a receptionist job you know certificate maybe neither of them have been a receptionist before but one of them has completed the six hour and has a certificate to show versus somebody that doesn't that person would have a leg up because that person has had you know training on the subject and shown that they can complete you know a task as well also needing to know things like Excel, Word, PowerPoint, kind of beyond what our classes are, two hour classes are. Here's a 12 hour class. Remember you get certificates for these classes as well. And also kind of a fun one. Here's one right here that uh, kind of goes into uh, making something. So now's the time, now's a good time to learn how to make something, maybe even make something to sell online. You know, things like, um, Facebook Marketplace, which we have a class about that. Uh, making things at home and selling it, now's a good time uh, to do that. So my example here is a soap making class. And you know, you can do it, sell it, and there you go. I have a new home-based business for you. Well, I didn't mean to click that yet. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna pull it up. And we're gonna go to So I'm at the main home page, I click menu, I click education and research sources. What which did it say? It said education and research. There you go. We're gonna click continuing education, and then we're gonna click where it says universal class. Now it's gonna ask me to log in. And it'll say welcome. I click log sign in, which I already have an account. And then it allows me to have access okay if not it'll pop in you'll have to fill out the information and, and I still recommend you use the same username and password as our main page so you'll have access there so I have lots of courses that comes up here any kind of software courses make sure that you are doing the latest version of that software okay 
let's talk about our course catalog here like I said we'll go into class we'll kind of look around maybe watch one of the intro videos and learn something new okay so let's talk about what we have here's crafts and hobbies okay uh, career training computer training let's look at that because it's a big one that folks ask me at least Here's popular ones Ooh, literacy level advanced Excel computer cybersecurity there's Adobe After Effects Adobe Illustrator Lightroom Adobe Photoshop Premiere which is their video editing creating WordPress websites which we kind of have a class about that but I'm sure that goes more in depth than what we cover digital photography electronics Final Cut Pro Google Docs Google Sheets Google Slides and these are all kind of go at your own pace as well okay it's about Windows 10 and the other versions as well and there's more so let's go back Here's general education entrepreneurship help how to do it yourself let's see wellness coach let's see waiter waitress training how to improve your concentration speed reading bartender mixologist and there's making candles cake decorating buying selling antiques all kinds of stuff so hopefully again kind of getting your 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 brain juices flowing about some ideas drawing how to bake motivational party planning pet sitting and dog walking business there you go right there wedding planning there you go languages office skills kind of you name it they have a little bit of everything special education teacher resources web development so let's look at crafts and hobbies and candle making cake decorating painting Photoshop dog training I'm mostly looking for one that hopefully will have a video intro some of these will have videos for them each separate one I do know that the canning one in here let's see Before you can really start to feel comfortable in the kitchen, it's important to understand why you are there and what you hope to accomplish. Like all things you learn in life, you must have a good, solid foundation before you can build on it and become proficient. What is cooking? Cooking can be loosely defined as any action in your kitchen that gets you from point A, a pile of ingredients, to point B, a meal. It is the act of assembling ingredients and or applying heat to ingredients for human consumption. This means that cooking can be as simple as assembling vegetables to make a salad or as complicated as combining a number of different ingredients on a stovetop over a period of three hours. Cooking is actually an umbrella term for a number of tasks and activities. It's kind of like when you think of the word clothes. When you get dressed in the morning, the word clothes really means quite a few things. Undergarments, shirts, shorts, pants, dresses, and socks all fall under the category, even though it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to wear them all at once. In the same way, you can cook using a variety of different methods. You don't necessarily use them all at once, but each of them still counts as cooking. There are ten basic types of cooking. One. Roasting. 
Roasting is done when you cook food using dry heat. In the historical sense, this includes placing a large piece of meat on a stick and putting it over flames. In the more modern sense, this includes putting things in your oven. Meat and vegetables are the most commonly roasted food items. 2. Broiling Broiling is also typically done in an oven. However, the heat comes from the top of the oven rather than the bottom. You can broil anything from a toasted cheese sandwich to fish. 3. Grilling Grilling is when you cook food directly over a heat source. It includes outdoor grilling on a barbecue as well as indoor grilling. For example, when you cook a steak in this way, you place it directly on the grill above the charcoal or flames. 4. Frying Food is fried when it is cooked in some sort of fat, like lard, butter, or oil. It can be done in an oven, a fryer, or a pan. Fried foods are usually higher in calories and fat than food cooked in other ways. 5. Boiling This occurs when the food is placed in boiling water. Many vegetables are cooked this way, although meat and noodles are also commonly boiled. 6. Simmering Simmering is a slow form of cooking. Food is not brought to a boiling point, instead being allowed to warm over a long period of time. It can be done in a pan, the oven, or a slow cooker. 7. Steaming Steaming is done by using the hot vapors of boiling water to cook foods. The food usually never touches the actual water. This is best to keep all the vitamins and nutrients in your food intact. 8. Microwaving This modern cooking type uses the microwave to warm or cook food. Because of their versatility, microwaves can actually be used to perform a number of different cooking types. For example, you can boil, steam, or even defrost things in the microwave. 9. Assembling this type of cooking uses no direct heat. It calls for the combination of uncooked or pre-cooked ingredients. Salads, sandwiches, and even more complex meals can be made this way. Baking Baking is often considered a field all its own. It is basically cooking done in an oven. Although you can technically bake anything from pizza to tuna casseroles, most people associate baking with sweets or bread. What is baking? As we mentioned before, baking is really just one of the ten types of cooking. However, as we will understand it for this lesson, as well as for the entire course, baking is a separate type of kitchen activity. It almost always centers on a different set of ingredients, skills, and utensils than cooking in the traditional sense. Consider it this way. When most people think of baking, they conjure up images of sweets and bread-like foods that are made of batter or dough put in the oven and cooked. Things like bread, cakes, cookies, and pastries fall into this category. If we stick to this idea of baking, there are a few... Hope you learned something a little new. We actually learned about the different techniques of cooking, didn't we? So we basically have a course description down here that talks about what all our course will entail. Talk about our training, the different sections, so it's a very detailed class and it talks about the different lessons. Now if you weren't interested in doing the certificate then you could actually just jump around if you wanted to to see the different lessons on just a specific topic. And then this is where it pops in down here talking about your certificate, okay? Something you can download, print, and share if you want to. It's like a PDF file. Uh, display your certificate on your resume and promote your achievement using social media. The good part about this is it does this for, uh, uh, has a unique serial number so that you can verify that this is something that you did complete and take. And again, this could be just for fun for yourself doing something you know new stimulating your mind a little bit or it could be something that you want to make sure to put on a resume so 
there's lots of different subjects here for our universal class. Even music appreciation. Mystery writing. Whole bunch of different topics. Okay, so hopefully I've given you some good ideas. And remember, all this is free through the library. So hopefully it'll kind of give you some ideas on getting started. So let's talk about our continuing other continuing education programs. One is Mango. Mango is basically a language app. This could be very good for someone that is learning English as a second language. Of course, they could take the English part. And then also it's a fun time to learn a new language as well. A big plus about learning a new language is knowing someone that does speak it naturally and be able to have conversations with them as well. So this is a great place to get started. And again, it's free through the library. BrainFuse is one of our newest services that we have included. It has expert help like live tutoring, live online help from expert tutors. Uh, it has a homework study question part. They have certain hours that do that with the BrainFuse homework help. Okay. Uh, even uh, creating uh, flashcards, you can send in a question, they'll try to answer that. So it's a huge resource that we have uh, that's new. So let's talk about little known resources at gchrl.org. Okay, maybe you know about, maybe you don't. We have our Augusta Chronicle collection. Currently, it's just a text only, no pictures. Uh, 1994 to current. The image versions of the paper is 2017 to current. Uh, so we do actually have access to that. Realize the library downtown has a big archive of Augusta Chronicle magazine, um, papers. So if you're looking for that. Also, there has does have the consumer reports uh, on our website and you can access that. Uh, let me pull that up real quick. second let me see if I can find this okay there it is it's under resources so home page hit resources digital library it talks about our newspaper and periodicals here's our consumer reports okay but you do need a Galileo password for that so you can call into the library to get that, okay? There's also the Augusta Chronicle collection. Again, that's under the, uh, what did I say, digital library section. You can search there for articles. Like I said, it only goes back so far. So 
their Quillo concerts. I kind of skimmed over that earlier. But that's where we find our consumer reports. There's also the merchant intelligent. That's mostly for someone trying to uh, investigate, research, seeing an investment. Heritage Quest is something that you need to gain access. Call the library and they'll set up access for you to be able to have that at home. The library does actually have access to the Ancestry, but it's uh, one that you have to access at the library. Okay, Gale, the Digital Library Reference Books. Resources, Digital Library. I think it's under Reference. There you go. It takes you to Gale. We sign in with our library card. And the one thing that's really neat is it actually does have, sure, it actually does have lots of travel magazines, lots of travel books in here, especially the DK series. You can view all that. There's a whole bunch of other resources on here too. Technology, science books, bird books, there's two as well, oh, biology book. Not really a bird book, endangered species book. There you go. So let's go back here. How about we click on, oh, I don't want to see my stuff. Let's see the, um, here we'll click there and see all of them. Here's Florida. Here's like Shanghai and Beijing. And you just kind of pull it up. It'll show the front cover. Then you can basically just kind of flip through the book the big thing is someone will say well what can you you know what what pages can you print well they usually limit you to about three or four pages that you can print and it has the pictures too but this is from the book about traveling here's the nest they built during the Olympics in 2008 but there you go right there so that's a resource that many people may not know about. And that kind of brings us to the end of our class. So you can, of course, get more information about our county, gchrl.org, for more information. The page turner is usually on there, the PDF, and it also lists some of our online classes and what classes are available this month as well. Do realize that if we do have like an outdoor outing right now, we need to triple check to see if that's still available. It may still be listed somewhere like on Google or something and it's been canceled. So as we still, you know, staying home, staying safe and all that good stuff, get to use our library resources, trying out new things, <laughs> learning new things as well. So let's kind of talk about what we covered today. So today we talked about what we needed to get started, okay? We talked about, which was our library card, and of course signing in with our free username with gchrl.org. Uh, Pines app, um, put books, we talked about putting books on hold, doing our curbside holds pickup, uh, listing what our books are due, and pulling up our digital library card number, okay? We also talked about law resources, like setting up a will, our digital RB Digital app, uh, using and accessing our eBooks, e audiobooks, or magazines, or comics, and even getting turning on our subscription for Acorn TV. We talked about video lessons on playing an instrument, and we also talked about Gale Galileo 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 <laughs> Galileo Kids homework help, and we talked about Universal Class. We pulled up talking about some. Uh, uh, cooking so that was kind of interesting talking about the different methods uh, so lots of great resources lots of stuff to learn fun stuff interesting stuff and little known stuff as well 
And we also included our references. So let me go ahead and go to that. Whoop. So here's some of our websites that we did talk about. Uh, do realize that uh, some of these you may need to go to gchrl.org to begin with to, and then to click through to access them. Okay, may need to set up a username and password just like I talked about earlier. Okay, so let me see. So, there is there any questions as we wrap up class? Okay, so I'll go ahead and talk about some of the other classes we have available this month, and we'll kind of wrap cl class up. So come join me for tomorrow. We're doing a YouTube 101 class at 11 o'clock. We'll talk about creating, making money. We'll talk about getting your ideas out there, and of course, getting started. We'll even talk about light kits and stuff and microphones and everything. In the afternoon, at 2.30, come join me for Raspberry Pi Computer Projects live with Alex. So I'll be working on, I think, a musical project tomorrow, connecting the breadboard together and everything. It's going to be fun. And then we'll make our little Raspberry Pi, you know, play some music for us. When we press the buttons, we'll have four little buttons here. So come join me for that. And, of course, I'll have all the resources listed that you would need for that project. So if in the future you want to... Uh, get all the parts and put them together or just kind of follow along with me okay here's a list of the classes that are available this month so we'll have those two classes tomorrow and then next month it's next month next week we'll be doing our word uh, class basics and it's updated for 2019 Excel and PowerPoint and at our other uh, library in the morning of course we're still on the same YouTube channel not at 11 o'clock we'll be doing our different project uh, live with me <laughs> it's me it's me and then the afternoon we'll be working on a different project as well at 2 2 30 so come join me for that kind of a new thing way of doing that trying to spread the information get folks interested in doing projects with the raspberry pi and it goes beyond our basic uh, raspberry pi class so we're getting in there building stuff making stuff pulling up different projects and working with the the components that we have okay and then the end of the month we'll be talking about photography basics fundamentals cloud backup all that kind of good stuff advanced photo editing and our new class includes layers as well so if you've been in our photo editing class in the past we're going to be included in layers so we'll be working on a few projects and hopefully you'll be able to pull up your computer and kind of follow along with me we'll be using the GIMP software from GIMP.org and it's similar to Photoshop but it's free and then on the 29th we're going to be doing uh, talking about photography printing options virtual scrapbooking and talk about all that kind of fun stuff as well okay on the 30th we're going to be doing creating video uh, so that's kind of a new class or and this is the second month we've taught the creating uh, creating videos and editing basics so that'll kind of lean into our YouTube class that we're going to be talking about tomorrow as well. So I encourage you, if you're going to take the YouTube class tomorrow, definitely set your schedule to take the creating video and ba editing basics and maybe even the photo editing so that you can do uh, thumbnails and stuff like that for your videos. Okay. Uh, just a little second note, a uh, little side note. Our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Uh, we're definitely op still offering curbside holds pickup, so definitely go to gchrl.org and sign up for that. Or you can call in the library Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. with questions. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel and give our videos a like, including give this video a like as well. You can search YouTube for GCHRL videos and you'll find our YouTube channel. Okay. So that does it for this class. Thank you for joining me. I look and hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Okay. It's Wednesday. It's very sunny and bright outside right now. So go outside, get some exercise, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.
So bye-bye until we meet again. Mm-hmm. <laughs>